Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh, and I'm here reviewing the SPY. A nice move here in the market today. We'll see if this follows through into the close. 1.42 in the afternoon. Got a, more than two hours left in the day, and I do think the market closes strong today on Election Day. Now, whether or not we break out or not, I'm looking at this here, and I'm thinking if we, I think we hold bullishly here into the close tonight, but we might not break out until tomorrow, depending on the election results, which which no one will know until this evening, and the market closes at four. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, the first target here was 275. I do think we close strong, so then we could go back to 275. We could go over 275, or that could be it for today because the market could wait to see what the results are from tonight's election. But just looking here, just gonna look at the bigger picture here for one second. I love yesterday's trading because why? It was a very bullish move in the market. And I, I, probably a lot of people wouldn't have said that, but the way that we gapped yesterday, we very easily could have fallen and we attempted to fall and we failed to do so. And we had a big sell off on Friday and a gap up. So when the market held yesterday, and I said this in the morning in the pre-market yesterday before the open, I said, listen, I don't know if the market holds today or falls, but if it holds, it's in a very bullish move for the market to hold. I said that yesterday on Monday, now today's Tuesday, and we held yesterday, and then we gapped up today, and we rallied, and this this just all looks bullish to me. So uh, it will be really interesting to see, one, the results of the elections tonight, and then two, how the market reacts to them tomorrow in the gap. So be very careful if you're in anything this afternoon. If you're in the market, it looks good into the close, or you could be out. Uh, with some profit here, but the market has held the uptrend all of 2018. In fact, I just want to look at something back here really quickly. Hold on. I want to go all the way back. I mean, the market just looks to me like it's going to break out. I mean, that's the way it looked this morning to me. Again, whether we hold today in a medium-sized bullish bar or I end up closing today with a larger bullish size bar, uh, the market looks like it's ready to break out to me. Now, of course, the election results tonight could change that look because we could gap down tomorrow and fall like a brick. Um, if the market doesn't like whatever the results are. But as of right now, I mean, the call today was to go on the market and you could have done it as a swing trade, an option trade, or you could have done it as a day trade. But honestly, I mean, the market to me looks like it's going to break out higher. I mean, it just looks like a breakout play to me. Let's go back here and look at this quickly. And it's really because of yesterday. Yesterday's, the way that the market traded yesterday was so critical i mean when I, and i and i knew i didn't know if the market would hold yesterday or not i said that in the room in the morning but i said if if we hold if we hold i said on monday then that will be a very bullish action for the market and we did we did so it wasn't surprised at all that we rallied today again look for a strong close here in the market over 275 we could see a pop uh two hours plus left in the trading day anything could happen but we won't know the results of the election tonight so we, we could have a lot of volatility Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Good luck, everyone, and come to the webinar if you're interested. Wednesday, 4.30 Eastern Time, Tuesday, November 7th. Have a great day.